Dual pentodes at first glance seem confusing. There's a cathode, control grid, and screen grid. Then there are two separate grids and two separate plates. However, these two separate grids are wound tighter than traditional suppressor grid, letting them become separate control grids of their own. The result is a tube that mixes three inputs to give two outputs. In order for electrons to flow from the cathode to one of the plates, the bottom control grid and the appropriate top control grid must both go high. While originally used for signal mixing, they can also be used as dual NAND gates contained within a single tube. Here we have a 6HS8 dual pentode set up as follows. There are three separate buttons, one for each control grid. Pushing either of the top control grid buttons without pushing the bottom grid button doesn't allow current to flow and our output remains high. However, pushing one of the top control grid buttons and the bottom control grid button allows current to flow, turning the LED off. 